What's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel I had talked about GoFlutter in previous video but I couldn't explain it to you guys in that video so here I am with another video explaining everything about GoFlutter and let's see how to figure this out and let's set up everything and get started So let's open up the repository of GoFlutter and in here you can find the instruction about everything. So basically this is all about running Flutter using Go language on desktop platform. So for this to work you have to install over so I'm gonna open that in new tab and let's scroll through the information in this repository. So let's also open the example directory and let's clone this so that we can run on the go. So in my previous video to run Flutter desktop embedding you must be on master channel but for this to work you can be on beta channel as well but in my case I have already changed my channel to master so it will be working on that too so I am not going to change but if you are on stable channel I recommend you guys to change your channel to beta or master so and also for this to work you must have go sdk or go language installed on your pc so i'm gonna download this installer and set up go language on my pc So let's go to the downloads folder. First, let's extract the example directory so that we can see what it contains. And here we can find three examples. I'm going to copy the entire folder, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to copy the entire folder and put it back in my further extra folder. And let's go ahead and install Go language on our PC. So the installation might take some time. It's pretty simple. Just uh, click next and follow the instruction, and you should be able to set up Go language on your desktop. So after the installation is complete, head over to the hover repository and copy this command. This command will basically enable hover on your desktop. So paste this command on command prompt and the hover will be enabled on your PC or your laptop. And after that, you can run a project on your desktop by initializing hover so change the directory to your project directory flutter project directory and type hover space init space and the directory in there you must have this folder the desktop folder which consists of assets cmd folder and some go files so 
in the example folder it also consists of android and ios folders so basically it is similar to mobile development so this works on both desktop as well as mobile platform so i'm gonna run this i'm in the example directory so i'm gonna run hover build to build the project it'll take some time it'll fetch some files for it to run on windows so let's wait for that to complete And here we ran into a problem CC1EXE could not run because 64-bit mode is not enabled this problem is because I have 32-bit GCC compiler and for this to work on my laptop it's 64-bit so I need 64-bit compiler so if you are facing similar problem check your compiler if you have not installed it install it or if you have 32 bit then install 64 bit if your pc is 64 bit so go ahead and open this link this is given in the description the ddm gcc compiler this compiler will work in 64 bit mode so i'm gonna download this And after the download is complete, I'm going to open this. And after the installer is open, click on create and choose 64 bit because that's what we are searching for. And click on next and follow along and install the compiler. It will take some time for this to install and after the installation is completed you should be able to run Flutter Go on the desktop. So my installation has complete so I'm gonna uncheck this and click on finish and after that and the next thing you want to do is change the environment variable so that you include the path to that compiler in my case i had code blocks compiler which was 32 bits so i was having the problem so i'm going to delete that and replace that with gdm gcc compiler so go to the folder where, where you have installed it and go to a bin folder and copy the location and in your environment variable add new or replace your 32 bit compiler and after that open up the command prompt and run over build and it should work and as you can see guys it has completed building and in the desktop folder there is a build folder and if we run this 
simple demo our output is here so text field is working fine states are working fine multiple lines working fine and the button is also working good so there is no problem but even if i run build there is still debug tag and good news guys minimizing works unlike flutter desktop embedding it doesn't crash when you minimize but the rendering problem while you change the screen size is still there so let's delete this build folder and let's change these settings so in assets there is an icon so i'm going to change this and in cmd folder there are two go files main.go this is probably the setup file which includes all the assets and all and the next one is option.go which includes the options for the application to run so here is dimension of the window so i'm going to change this so that it looks similar to mobile i'm going to change it to 400 and 600 and save this after saving let's go back to the assets folder and i'm going to change this folder this icon so that it will be customizable so let's rename this to icon so that it will match with previous one and in the leaf folder let's see what is there so there's app.dart this is similar to flutter app everything is simple and there's main dart so this is for app and this is for desktop so let's edit this first let's run this so type hover run and it'll run in debug mode and you can hot reload i believe So here we are yes guys the options are working the icon has been changed and the screen size is what I wanted so let's first change the title see if it works here because it didn't work on previous videos so I'm gonna change this to my app and it's not working I don't know why it does this not work let's change the title of app bar and this is also not working i think hot reload is not working so i'm gonna go with r and the title is also working so there's a problem here guys the hot reload is not working but everything else is working you could you can minimize this the title is being changed the icon is being changed but hot reload is not working so the bugs of previous approaches are fixed in this but you have to hot reload by forcing it through command prompt by running it again and it probably doesn't support visual studio or android studio as well so you have to run it through command line because it is in go language so i'm gonna replace this command with previous command which we had done in previous video so that we can test it with a similar code and i'm gonna remove this title code and let's hot reload yes it's working great
let's get rid of this debug banner so object mode banner colon false oops f a l s e and let's save this and let's reload so it's gone oh uh, icon is hiding there so let's change the primary swatch to amber and let's also set the hover color to transparent so that that ugly hover color is not shown when you hover over the icons and now let's hot reload so now it's working it is fine everything is good only the problem is the hot reload otherwise everything is good everything is working fine the scrolling is working minimize is not a problem it doesn't crash so it's great so let's see other examples too because we could see three folders so i'm gonna open up the other folder in this command prompt so let's change the directory and it's probably pointer something pointer demo okay so and then next one is stock pointer demo and let's run this okay here we are let's resize this a bit okay so basically this is a example for demonstration of the feature with the mouse pointer in the windows so i'm going to close this and let's see the last one the stocks example i believe this is the example that was on the repository okay here we are with another problem uh, oh the dependency mismatch so let's go ahead open up popspec.yaml and let's fix this version problem so i'm going to change this to 0.15.8 and let's run this again running package get and we don't have a problem i believe yes it's working yes guys this is the same app that was on the repository space so there is a search bar it is working okay oh dark mode nice i like this and there are other several options you can test these all so i'm gonna close this and clear this up so guys that's it for this video hope you liked it and enjoyed it if you like the video please give a thumbs up if you have any questions or any suggestions leave them on the comment section below and thank you guys for watching